hello viewers hope you are doing well so i am back with another video our today's topic is stress adaptation model in this topic we are going to study about the different models of stress and how our body responds to a stressful event so first of all you have to know what is stress so there is a definition given by hans Sally. He said that stress is the non-specific response of our body to any kind of demand made upon it. Means whenever there is any demand upon your mind or upon your body, your body will react or respond to it. So this response is called as stress. Moving on to stressor. So a stressor is any person or any situation that produces anxiety responses means it may be a person or it may be any circumstances that may produce stress in your body or mind it will called as stressor there are several type of stressors so first one is environmental stressor means any environmental issue or any type of environment that causing stress to you is called environmental stressor sometimes stress may cause due to change in the environment Next one is physiological stressor. Physiological stressor is any type of stress made upon your body. Means if you are facing some bodily problems or any disease or any injury, it will called as physiological stressor. Third one is social stressor. Social stressor may arise from disturbances in the social adjustments. Last one is thoughts. Any kind of negative thoughts can cause stress to a person. Moving on to the models of stress. So there are mainly three models of stress. First one is stimulus based model. Second one is uh, response based model. And the last one is transaction based model. Stimulus based model was given by Holmes and Rahe in 1960. According to this model, stress is defined as a stimulus, a live event, or a set of circumstances that arouses physiologic and psychological reactions that may increase the individual's vulnerability to illness. Stress may cause by any life problem or any circumstances that you are not able to cope up, which may further cause any physiological or psychological illness in you. Or simply it may give you mental pressure. Holmes and Rahe invented a social readjustment rating scale by which they ranked some life events which may cause of stress and they provided mean value or marking against the life event. So here is the social readjustment rating scale. According to them, death of a spouse is ranked number one and against it the main mean value is 100 means if someone's husband dies the stress level of the wife will be 100 then another life event that is given is divorce which mean value is 73 marital disharmony is 65 means if a couple uh, experience problems in their marriage uh, the mean value will be 65 if someone is fired at work then his or her mean value will be 47 mean value of death of a close friend is 37 so like this total 43 life events was marked by Holmes and Rahi next model is the response based model this model mainly emphasizes the common physiological consequences of stressful situation this is also known as fight or flight response which occurs in situations that you perceive as very threatening. This response is mainly physiological type in which your sympathetic nervous system gets activated and some somatic symptoms or changes will appear. Normally we call this situation as anxiety or very nervous situation. Sally developed this idea into a theoretical model which is called as general adaptation syndrome. He proposed that different type of stimuli would result in similar physiological responses. Means there are various stimuli which can cause stress but the result will be same that is this physiological responses a person may experience. 
there will be three stages of gas means general adaptation syndrome first one is alarm phase second one is resistance and the third one is exhaustion so now we are going to discuss about the first stage that is alarm phase this is the first reaction whenever you are facing a threatful situation means this is the fight or flight response that prepares the body for immediate action suppose for example suddenly there is a tiger or a stray dog comes in front of you what will be your reaction obviously you are going to run or escape and if there is no escape route you are going to fight with the situation in this situation your sympathetic nervous system gets activated and it stimulates your hypothalamus again the hypothalamus will stimulate the pituitary gland to secrete corticotropin releasing hormone and adrenocorticotropin hormone these two hormones will further stimulate adrenal glands to release cortisol which is a stress hormone and adrenaline which is also called as fight or flight hormone your body will release high amount of adrenaline hormone the second stage of general adaptation syndrome is resistance phase it is not as intense as the alarm stage but the level of hormone secretion are still above normal means your body will secrete high levels of adrenaline and cortisol so in this stage if the stressor is removed means if you find some escape route your body will return to the normal level and if not it will go into the third stage that is exhaustion stage so here is a graphical representation of general adaptation syndrome in the first stage when the stressor occurs the hormonal level and stress resistance gets higher in the second stage it is still higher but in the third stage it starts to decline your body gets tired in the process of coping with this stressful situation so moving on to the third phase that is exhaustion phase in this stage our body gets tired due to prolonged resistance our body has no more energy to fight with this stressful situation so if this stage persists for a prolonged time it can cause the disease of adaptation means the body and mind gets tired so the person may experience signs of depression the hormonal secretion will be get reduced and the body has no more energy to fight with this stressor all the resources suffer heavily and the body experiences adrenal exhaustion means the adrenal level will be very low this will lead to decreased stress tolerance progressive mental and physical exhaustion and illness our last model is transaction based model this model is based on the transaction between the environment and person we all know that the person and environment are inseparable means a person will be get affected by his or her surroundings the individual responds to perceived environmental changes by adaptive or coping resources if a person has enough coping resources he or she will be able to adapt with the situation and if someone lacks those coping resources he or she will more likely to be getting a stressor according to this theory stress results from an imbalance between demand and resources when the demand or pressure exceeds our resources that is our ability to cope we are more likely to get a stressor and thus the interpretation of this stressful event is more important than the stress itself it means how we react means our reaction is more important than the event itself if you react more then this stressful event or this stressor will affect you more and if you are calm and cope up with this stressful event very nicely it will not affect you or harm you so here is a picture stating that stressed is desserts spelled backward means it's totally upon you and your perspective here is a schematic diagram representing how a situation causes stress to you whenever there is a situation or event takes place it will cause first appraisal in the first appraisal you will think whether this stressful event 
or this situation actually causes a threat to you or not if you do not consider it as a stressor then there will be no threat perceived and there will be no stress but if you perceive it as a threat then there will be second appraisal in the second appraisal you will evaluate your coping resources means whether you are able to cope with the situation or not if you think that you are not able to cope with the situation then there will be negative stress which is harmful and if you are thinking that you are able to cope with the situation then you will get excited and you will be able to cope with the situation and it will cause positive stress positive stress is good for you because it gives you challenges and if you accomplish those challenges you will get motivated and you will get pleasure so this much about the uh, stress adaptation model i hope you all have understood if you like the video please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and share it to your friends thank you